Hey everybody, so today is a project polish update. I'm excited every time I film these because it's really fun to see polishes disappear from your rotation or disappear from your project. Um, unfortunately, the polish that I finished up, I didn't save because it was my last month's empties and I had entirely forgotten to save it for this video, but it wasn't all that exciting. I'll show you it on a swatch wheel anyway. And uh, let's start. So first up is my NCLA polish in Libra. And I have, as always, made small amount of progress on it. Um, it's funny, I just, I use this polish the same amount each update, each couple of weeks. Um, so it's moving along, slowly but surely. Then we have Colors by La Rose, Breathless. This is a seasonal polish and you can see, like look, you can see that I almost am finished with it. By the next update, it's going to be done for sure. It is this burgundy shimmery goodness, very, very appropriate for winter, but I do feel like I, I want to be done with it before the spring really hits or before I want to wear spring colors. I want to wear spring colors usually a couple months before the spring actually comes because I feel springy. And so I feel like I want to participate in bringing up the spring by transitioning my wardrobe into transitional lighter pieces and lighter colors for makeup, lighter, brighter colors for nails. So I'm really excited to be getting rid of it, probably by next update. I'm definitely going to use it, but if you can see it against the light, I have a small amount left and it's not a big bottle, so it's gonna be gone. Then we have my Diorific polish from Dior in the color Splendor. This is a beautiful red polish. This is what I have on right now. And I always have a red polish in my rotation. If you know my channel, you know I have a red polish whenever I'm doing these. Um, for, for the last year, you know, I go through one and I move on to the next one. And this one is really, really beautiful. Um, it has this really almost undetectable, beautiful shimmer to it. It's a, a nice, universally flat, flattering red color. And it was new at the last update uh, still and uh, I'm starting to finally make a little bit of a progress. I like the brush, I like the formula, I like the color, I like everything about this product and I will be purchasing Dior in the future, but uh, so far I've been ma making pretty decent progress on it. Um, the next one that I have been making good progress on, it was completely full at the last update and now I can see my progress at the neck and this is Essie's Chow Effect. What a beautiful dusty purple. This is a great example of a transitional color, winter to spring. It's dusty, but pastel, but not really bright pastel. It's like a muted, appropriate color, easy to pair with basically anything in my wardrobe because I wear a lot of neutral colors and this just is very flattering on my skin tone, which I really like. Then the polish I added last time was completely new, is this mini. And this is another transitional shade for me. You can see what it looks like. And this is Formula X Wonderlust Mini. And you can see that I have made a decent amount of progress. I don't think it'll be completely gone by next update, but maybe it will be depending on how often I wear it. If I wear it frequently, then I think I should be able to get through this little guy, at least to the point where it's so thick that I'm not gonna be able to use it. But I really, really enjoy the color. Um, I've been enjoying this little uh, silver fleck finish so much, and now I have quite a few polishes with that similar finish in current rotation because I've been kind of obsessing over them. The polish I finished is this white polish by Ceramic Glaze in the color Pure. It was a basic white polish, nothing special about it. I really enjoy having a white or off-white polish in the um, rotation because I, I simply gravitate towards that type of a color. The problem with white polish I found that isn't the same with other off-white colors is that 
um, you need to be very careful painting because uh, you know it contrasts with skin enough that every irregularity really stands out so painting a white nail you you end up with a kind of an imperfect manicure whereas many of the other colors not white colors or off-white colors they look a little bit more flattering because the mistakes aren't so obvious so i'm moving on to another color and this is going to be kb shimmer nail polish a big bottle so this is going to be ambitious and it's completely full it's in the color fleece navidad And this is another example of me being obsessed with iridescence or flakies. Um, and this is a holographic blue, flake, blue and purple flaky hollow light gray polish. And this is my replacement for the white one because I felt like I wanted something that was nice and light and transitional, but I didn't want white anymore at the moment at least. I have one more white polish remaining in my collection and I am holding off on that one uh, for now but uh, this is just a beautiful color I'm so so stoked to have it in my rotation I will definitely finish it um, and I just think it's universally flattering kind of color I would probably repurchase this we'll see how it goes but I just am so into this color for nails that if I can find something similar maybe I'll buy it again so that's it for my project polish. I hope it was fun for you to watch my little update. One in, one, in, one out sort of thing ha did happen. And I'm pretty certain that um, at next update, this polish is going to be gone, which I'm excited about because I'm sort of, I'm ready to move on to the lighter colors and the brighter colors because uh, it's been a long winter. Enjoy yourselves and enjoy your nail polish. Have fun with it. Um, let me know if you're doing project polish and if it's going well for you or maybe you've just been fed up with it and decided to quit I'm so I'm curious what other people are doing I find having a little capsule of nail polishes that I'm using actively very very easy so I don't really spend time choosing a nail polish I just have a couple of categories that I have within my little capsule and I just pick for that polish like if I want a nude I have one nude if I want a pastel I have like one pastel if I want a neutral I have a couple of neutrals if I want a dark color I have one dark color so it's really like it's easy it makes the polishing really really easy and as a bonus you're getting through your stuff and the polishes aren't sitting there dying for months and months at a time and you get a chance to use up what you have so that's it for today guys have a good day see you later bye bye